Hello, my name is Samantha Ma, and today I will discuss how we use deep learning for the segmentation of lenticular striate arteries using 3 Tesla and 7 Tesla 3D black blood MRI. I am now an employee of Siemens Health Nears. In this study, we are interested in segmenting the lenticular striate arteries, or LSAs, which are small arteries on the order of 500 microns that branch off directly from the high-flowing MCA. Early cerebral microvascular changes in conditions related to small vessel disease are difficult to evaluate because these small vessels are largely inaccessible to existing clinical in vivo imaging technologies. Recently, black blood MRI techniques have been proposed to visualize LSAs with submillimeter spatial resolution using 3D turbo spin echo with variable flip angles at clinical field strengths. In this study, we developed and evaluated a deep learning based algorithm informed by both 3 Tesla and 7 Tesla images on two MRI vendor platforms for generality to automatically segment the LSAs from the 3D black blood images. For data collection, black blood images were acquired from 77 participants ranging in age from 22 to 82 years old. Image volumes were acquired on a Siemens 3T Prisma, a Siemens 7T Terra, or a Philips 3T Achieva system using the T1 space or Vista sequence respectively. The images from the three systems had various resolutions and imaging parameters. In order to create a ground truth label for our deep learning model, manual segmentation of the LSAs was required. The LSAs were carefully segmented manually in the black blood images by experienced and trained radiologists using the paintbrush tool in ITK SNAP. To prepare for input into the segmentation model, the raw images underwent several pre-processing steps. First, the images were normalized to the mean signal intensity of the Siemens 3T data, then denoised via non-local means filtering. The filtered images were cropped to a volume encompassing the LSAs and separated by left and right hemispheres to avoid the ventricular structures for a total of 154 image volumes. To improve the specificity of the training, an LSA regional mask was created by dilating all the manual segmentation labels and taking the common covered region. The data set was divided into a training set with 53 subjects or 106 volumes from both 3T and 7T scanners and a test set with 24 subjects or 48 volumes from a 3T scanner. For deep learning, the high-res 3D net architecture with 20 layers and residual connections was adapted from and trained within the NiftyNet platform on two NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti GPUs. Blackboard images from 3T and 7T and the LSA regional masks were used as input and manual segmentation labels served as supervision. The training process was performed with 30,000 iterations with dice loss function and the atom optimizer for computing graph gradients. Tenfold cross-validation was used to address the limited dataset size. Since 10 models were built through the cross-validation, the consensus of the 10 outputs, which was generated by averaging the 10 probability maps of the 10 models and subsequently binarizing with a threshold of 0.5, was used for evaluation with a qualitative error map, dice similarity, and modified Hausdorff distance. These are examples of the segmentation results using tenfold validated high-res 3D net from the training set. We can see how the automated segmentation can correctly identify most portions of the vessels, although there are some disagreements with manual segmentations about the distal portions of the LSAs. These are results from the test group never seen by the model during training. The outputs also generally agree well with the identification of vessels by manual labeling, although there is still some disagreement regarding the distal portion of the vessels. These are box plots of modified Hausdorff distance and dice similarity. In the training set, the mean MHD was less across the tenfold cross-validation, while the MHD was slightly higher for the test set that the model had never seen. The dice coefficient is considered low at under 0.5, likely due to the heavily unbalanced number of vessel to non-vessel labeled voxels. The mean MHD of only slightly more than one voxel indicates relatively good performance of the high-res 3D net model. The results of the high-res 3D net deep learning model is very promising, though the results should still be observed with caution because manual segmentation is limited to human interpretation, and as shown, distal portions of the LSAs are often still disagreed upon. By including training images acquired at different field strengths with varied parameters and two vendor platforms in this network, this DL model may be generally used for the application of small vessel segmentation in black blood images. With further hyperparameter optimization and tuning, the model proposed here has the potential to facilitate morphological quantification of cerebral small vessels. Finally, I would like to acknowledge the many people who made this work possible. Thank you to the volunteer participants, the Loft Group, and Loney at USC with all our collaborators. Lastly, this work was supported by grants from the NIH and AHA. Thank you all for your attention.